Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. In this video, we'll show you how to create a client certificate. Client certificates are the key elements of client certificate authentication, a method you can use to augment your HTTPS, FTPS, or AS2 server's username, password, login method. Creating a client certificate on Jscape MFT server is very easy. Just go to the Keys module and then the Client Keys tab. Next, click the Generate button. If you've tried setting up SFTP public key authentication on MFT server before, this is exactly the same place where you create an SFTP key. Fill up the fields in the Generate Client Key dialog. You'll need to enter the following information. The key alias. The key alias is just the name that will be used in referring to this particular key within the Jscape MFT server manager environment. So for example, AS2 server 1 client key. Key algorithm. Choose between RSA or DSA. Click the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube or in the post if on Facebook or LinkedIn for an enlightening discussion on these two key algorithms. Key length. Choose between 1024, 2048, and 4096. Click the link to the article choosing key lengths for encrypted file transfers if you need more information on the subject. The link is again provided in the description or in the post. Validity. Specifies how many days you would like this key to remain valid. Common name. This is just the name associated with this client-side certificate. If the client using this certificate will be manually operated by a person, then the usual practice is to enter that person's email address. But if it's a machine, then the host name of that machine. Let's just use the key alias for this example. Organization unit. This indicates the specific unit in your organization that will be using this key. So for example, accounting or IT. But let's just enter demo for now. Organization. So this is just the name of the client's organization. And then locality. This is just the name of the client's city. And state or province. This is the name of the client's state or province. And country, this is the client's two character country codes, for example, US. After you click OK, you'll be prompted to export the client certificate's private key. Enter a file name for that private key file. Enter a password as well to protect the file. And then lastly, specify a format. We recommend PKCS 12. Click OK to proceed. You can then save the file when prompted. Make sure you save that file in a safe place. Your newly created client certificate should then be added to your client keys tab. So you can double check it to see if everything's good. Now that you have your newly created client certificate, you can then load the PFX private key file you recently exported onto a user's client application. However, in most cases, when using Jscape MFT server, you would simply load that file to your trading partner module. You could then export this certificate's corresponding public key and load that key to a trading partner's remote service. The trading partner module of your Jscape MFT server instance usually acts as a client to a trading partner's remote service. So with a private key in your trading partner module and its corresponding public key in your trading partner's remote service, you can then commence with client certificate authentication. That is, that remote service can authenticate your host by checking if the two keys match. Now, if you're still having a hard time grasping the concept, don't worry. In our next video, we'll show you how to put your newly created client certificate to good use by enabling client certificate authentication on Jscape MFT servers AS2 service. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, thank you.